everyone. Welcome again to another video. Uh, this today's video is uh, Print XP again in that software, uh, and we're going to be discussing a couple of things here under settings. Um, sometimes we'll have an issue with the margin uh, being lost or for some reason somebody messed with the margin and now the printer is printing over the metal brackets that are on either side of the film or printing too far uh, into the film as opposed to as close as possible to the edge of the film and that is right up here your margin your your margin setting right here so um, that will also be displayed on the front panel which i'm including pictures on both the 24 and the 12 inch here uh, and um, it's 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 really very simple. It's it's the distance as soon as the head moves away from the capping station and starts to print. How much distance is it from the very edge of the printable area of the machine? So that varies depending on how you load the film. And this is where think people get in trouble. If you're loading your film, right, you should always load your film, removing only the right side of the support for the roller. And if you do that, then now you never lose your margin. So your margin, if when you're looking at the machine and take a look at the picture I'm including here, it's going to be on your left side. So when you're facing the back of the machine, that roll is supported by two units that basically allow the roll to feed. So the one on the left should always be permanent because that is the one that you set your margin based on. That's where your film is going to come in. If we move that for some reason to the left or to the right, now that X margin has to be reset again. And this happens very often in the smaller machine as well as the big machine. So we're all, we're not exempt from that. It's just the way we decide to load the film. So let's just make sure that you follow procedure and only release the right side of the roller. Now, I'm discussing the 24 inch machine now, and that's the picture I'm showing up there. When we go into the 12 inch machine, now that changes quite a bit. And the reason for that is because the mechanism to hold the film on the 12 inch is far different than the one in the 24 inch. So for that, take a look at another video that it's labeled Rooster 1202. And in that video, I cover how to load and unload the film and also how to check the margin to make sure that you don't lose it ever again. Uh, let's move on to actually uh, changing the margin should we want to. We simply click inside, we backspace, backspace, and we can move it up if we want it away, or we move it down if we want it closer to where the head meets the capping station. Um, as soon as the making changes are made, wherever we go up or we go down, we simply click on save, and that's it. The changes that we made have been changed. Wait until this saving parameters message is finished to make sure that you do anything you want to do, uh, whether it's a cleaning or anything else. So the machine will be on standby until those parameters are saved. And you can actually verify that this number should match the one on the display. Thank you for watching and let me know if you have questions.